annoying are these people that after they find a snake they feel obligated to you know move it off the road so no one else bothers it as if it's okay that they bothered it but they no one else can look at it and it's kind of like they get mad if you bother to drag it back in a little bit like what are you doing i found it well all you did was walk up on it dude it was on a road you just walked by like you found it you almost stumbled over it you know it's kind of kind of just prideful i think arrogant so what i have here is a cave salamander and we'll find these guys in the crevices and cracks of these bluffs here. But you can see they kind of look like the long tail. But the difference is you can really just tell if you ever see a long tail, you'll be able to tell by a tail. But these guys are so really, really So this is a cave salamander. And they're really cool. We find them in the crevices and the cracks of these bluffs. And they pretty much spend a whole life in these caves just feeding off of the, the insects that come into them. Like mosquitoes, probably flies, just whatever they find. But they're really cool salamander. There's a bright orange, black dots. They kind of look somewhat like the long tail salamander. But the long tail, you can really tell if you ever see one. Just by the tail, it's so much longer. But the belly is kind of just, just playing dead. Roll back over. <laughs> but there's a really cool salamander. So I'm going to put it back. But you can see right here these crevices in the wall. That's where you find them. And you can actually sometimes if you walk up, you'll look in the crevice, you'll see their head popping out. And if you make a move towards them, you'll see them jump back in the cave. It's really cool. Not cave, crevice. So what I have here is a worm snake. Now these guys are actually a really secretive snake and they spend pretty much their whole lives under rocks. And so they're really uncommon to see. And I'll put this guy under a big stone up there. If you lift a rock, this guy might even just curl up in a little ball, would look like a little worm. But also, they eat worms. So it's both the looks and the diet. And you can see it kind of has this like, I don't know what Carl would call that, but then they have the pink belly. But it's kind of like a grayish, brownish top. It's a shiny snake, though. It's really shiny. You can see what I mean. But then there's another snake called an earth snake, which looks a lot like this. And a good way to tell them apart is a worm snake actually has a very sharp tip to his tail. And it actually, they use that for defense if they're trying to, if something's trying to eat them.
one. For real? Is it a long tail? I'm about to drop it. I'll drop it. You can't knock this over the face. Why? I had it on my face. <laughs> There's a second one. How big? Oh, uh, it's small. Alright, leave it. <laughs> yeah, but I want to touch it. Check these two out. Oh boy. I knew it. Right there. You want to bring the cup with you? You want to bring the cup with you? I'm going to have to wash my mouth off because I basically had it in my mouth. Uh, I'm trying to make sure it wouldn't get away. Wow. Uh, pretty. Now, long tails are well, actually a pretty common species. <laughs> Throughout the range. We found them here, Indiana, Kentucky, pretty much all over this eastern <coughs> part of the United States. 